So we invited Professor Sherman and Dr. Skiniotis from the University of Michigan to give us lectures and to train students in the field as well as in the lab, how they culture actinomycetes from the sediment. And no one's ever done this from the Red Sea. This is a first where a group is going to culture marine actinomyces from the Red Sea. And we don't know anything about uh, how unusual these microorganisms may be, but we can be quite confident uh, that they will produce interesting natural products. And these natural products is what uh, Dr. Dia Yusuf's group is going to explore. Uh, once they're in pure culture form, uh, he'll grow them up, extract them, and then those extracts uh, will be tested for biological activity. We've been here about two weeks and the first week was teaching the course. And we then went out to two areas of the Red Sea along the Saudi Arabian coast. Uh, one of those places was called Yanbu, and the second dive site was from Ilayth. Wonderful conditions, the, the seas were incredibly calm. The water temperatures were anywhere between 82 and 87 degrees, so we barely needed wetsuits, but every dive was very productive in terms of collecting materials from depths that range from uh, very shallow around 15 feet to the deepest part, uh, about 133 feet. That was uh, actually accomplished by Professor Skinny Atlas. It's been a fantastic experience so far, a lot of exchange uh, of information with our Saudi um, colleagues. And I learned myself um, how it is to collect actual samples that can lead to the discovery of new drugs. That gives me a new perspective on my work actually. I'm usually at the end where we're doing the structural analysis of these proteins that make these compounds. But now I saw from the beginning of the process, how do we discover these compounds? Now, uh, we're back at the university, and uh, I've taken some of the samples that we collected, sediment samples, um, and we collected them in tubes, and uh, we have these Petri dishes here. We've developed this methodology over the years where uh, we take some of the sediment and spread it over a cellulose filter that in turn is on the agar medium. So we're now training uh, Professor Dia's group on how to actually inoculate and culture these microbes so they can develop their own uh, microbial library. We had a great time. I think it was a really good mix of personalities. We had a lot of good observations that we otherwise maybe wouldn't have made because it's a different perspective. It's part of the perspective that you get at the Life Sciences Institute where you have collaborations among very diverse group of, of, of scientists. And I think the workshop as well as the collection exhibition in the Richard C was very successful and we hope they will get visiting us next year and we're looking for great and fruitful collaboration with them as well as with the University of Michigan. We're very excited about this new collaboration. We're looking forward to uh, many years of working together and finding new drug molecules from the Red Sea.